To find the surface area of a cylinder, we need to unwrap the cylinder to view its basic shapes. The side of the cylinder unwraps into a rectangle, and the bottom of the top of the cylinder are two circles. Now we need to find the area of these shapes. The height of the rectangle is the height of the cylinder, and the base of the rectangle was wrapped around the circumference of the end circles of the cylinder, so its length is 2 pi times the radius of the cylinder. These two end circles have an area equal to pi times the radius of the cylinder squared. Altogether, the area of these shapes gives us the surface area of the cylinder. We find the surface area of a cone in a similar manner as that of a cylinder. First, we unwrap the top of the cone, which flattens out into a fraction of a circle. We know the circumference of the partial circle has to equal the circumference of the base it was wrapped around. And we know if this were a whole circle, it would have a circumference of 2 pi s, where s is the slant height of the cone. This gives us a fraction which we can reduce because any number divided by itself is 1. Now, we multiply this fraction by the area of the complete circle to get an area of pi times the radius of the cone times the slant height of the cone. The base of the cone is simply pi r squared, where r is the radius of the cone, altogether giving us the formula for the surface area of a cone.